All right, it's come to my attention that there's been some question about the capacity and the voltage handling ability of this capacitor stack that I used in uh, the experiment where I showed Tar Baby running exclusively on this capacitor bank with no batteries at all. First of all, you will note that the capacitors are wired strictly in parallel. Every positive terminal and every negative terminal are hooked together and then we have output lugs right here and I have a jumper shorting the positive and negative loops in order that the bank stays discharged because a capacitor bank of this capacity is a dangerous thing, very dangerous. All right, now, and it will charge up on its own from static electricity in the air and other effects. So you need to keep a bank like this jumpered when it's not in use so it doesn't charge up. All right, now, just to review, parallel capacitors, the capacitance is strictly add. There's nothing mysterious about that. Voltage handling of the bank will be equal to the lowest voltage cap in the bank, okay? Got that? All right, now let's take a look at these capacitors. Okay, let's see. That one, the blue ones, are forty-eight thousand microfarads. That's four eight comma zero 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 microfarads at forty volts DC. And there's two of those. Uh, here's a silver one over here, also 48,000 microfarads at 40 volts DC. There's another one in there, 48,000 microfarads. Here's another one right here, 48,000 microfarads. Okay, what is this one? 48 thousand microfarads. Ah, here's one. Sixty-one thousand microfarads. Okay, so the rest of them looks like, what have I got? I've got how many capacitors are there there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven capacitors, six of which are 48,000 microfarads, and one of which is, what was it, 60,000 microfarads, right? Do the math. Thank you.